Hey, what's happening, folks? What's going on? Uh, happy Sunday, June 13th. I hope everybody is doing well out there in the world. Uh, it's just such a nice day today. I didn't want to be outside, inside. So, Anyways, I guess we'll count this as, as the Sunday live stream. Um, so I hope you all are pleased. We have a million... 43,000 signatures on the petition. But we really should have like 10 million signatures at a minimum, guys. Remember, there are 45.4 million student loan borrowers in the country, federal student loan borrowers. And there's another like 10 million private borrowers and co-signers. Uh, so, um, you know, uh, and by the way, 80% of those all those people, 55 million, 80 percent, so like 44 million people were screwed on their student loans even before the pandemic. So it's only gotten worse. And if these people knew about our petition, I think most of them would sign. So there's no reason that we can't have 25, 30, 35 or more million people on the petition. And that will help, guys. I mean, remember, this could go bad on us. And if Biden has his way, uh, given his history and everything he's said and done, it will go bad. But, you know, um, if that happens, we have to be prepared. Uh, you know, we're ready for Biden whichever way he goes. But it may well come to the point where we all have to cease making payments. And with... <laughs> 35 people uh, or 35 million people on a petition, well, that puts us in a very strong position to extinguish this lending system by popular rejection. So, and that may be coming. In my humble opinion, nobody should ever pay another dime, certainly on their federal student loans. The lending system is toast, it's done. It's beyond catastrophically failed. I don't know what that word is, but it's beyond that. Like, the subprime home mortgage default rate was 20%. And we are looking at like 75 or 80% for federal student loans, certainly. Not exactly sure about private loans. It's probably not far off from that. Um, although they do a little in underwriting, so probably a little bit lower than that. But dudes, come on now. <laughs> Um, I don't know what else I can tell you to prove to you. I don't, and I don't know why journalists out there aren't simply pointing to that fact and calling this lending system what it is, a failed lending system. But whatever. We can't control the media. What we can control is whether or not we feed this beast. Now, in my humble opinion, nobody should ever pay another dime, certainly on their federal loans. And anybody who does is, I think that's not only probably unwise, I think it's unpatriotic, and I would maybe even go a step further and say that is immoral. You know, this lending system is a national threat. I don't care if you're a Republican or a Democrat. It is a national threat. If you happen to be a Republican, you should know that the worst hit states by far are typically southern or other red states. So this is not a partisan issue. The people who will be getting this loan cancellation aren't the elitist liberals, whatever. Those people have trust funds or whatever. They don't have student loans. And the most successful student loan borrowers, by the way, they refinance their loans out of the federal program. 40% you know, of all student loan borrowers never graduated. Something like 55% of them are either Republican or independent. So. I don't know why, in, well, I, kind of, I do know why, but it is not logical that the name brand people on the right are wagging their fingers at the borrowers and perpetuating and defending this big government lending scam. It's the height of hypocrisy. Uh, um, it's not appropriate. It's not acceptable. Uh, and... Um, it's not logical for Republicans. So I don't know why they seem to be opposing us. Um, 
but that you know that is a problem easily solved. For example, um, let's look at Georgia. The entire state budget of Georgia, okay, is forty-eight billion dollars. The people of Georgia owe eighty-one point five billion dollars in student loan debt. That's money fleeing the state of Georgia. That's five billion dollars a year in interest alone. That is flocking, fleeing to Washington, D.C. Now, if you're a Republican in Georgia, that should probably piss you off. <laughs> you know, these are like, we're talking like two million people in Georgia. That's like the fifth of all adults that are being just absolutely wrecked. And most of them are being absolutely wrecked. So, guys, we got this. But we, on this group, you and me and everybody here, we are the tip of the spear. You know, nobody knows that information that I just told you. Almost nobody. It has not yet been reported in the state of Georgia. It's been reported nationally. It's been reported in places like Texas and Colorado and I think Oregon and a few other places, like five or six other places, but certainly not in Georgia, certainly not in Florida, certainly not in North or South Carolina, certainly not in Alabama, in Tennessee, in Indiana, in Missouri. It has not been reported in any of those places. So... Maybe I'll make today a special call out to conservatives. You know, um, anybody with red state blood in them or whatever, any MAGA people, we're glad you're, you're here, but you need to fight. You need to stand up and uh, help us make this case because right now the lending people in Washington, D.C., they are laughing their asses off because they've tricked all these so-called conservatives into fighting for them, which is just... You know, that's just insane. It's stupid, and there's a lot of education that needs to happen out there in the world. And we are the pioneers. We, we are the tip of the spear. Nobody is going to know this stuff until we tell them. So get on it. You know, um, look for that report. Go to our website, studentlawandjustice.org. You will see the report that we wrote where the headline is that, like, over a third of U.S. states owe more in student loan debt than their entire state budget. Get that report to media in those affected states, those states that I just mentioned, plus probably five or ten more. New Hampshire, South Dakota, uh, I don't know, Virginia, anyways. Um, you'll see the list. Uh, hopefully you live in one of those states. You know, this stuff, come, this stuff is much stronger coming from somebody in those states. Like, all day long, I can send stuff out, but they're like, oh, yeah, what is this? Oh, you're in Washington, D.C., they think, is my phone number. But and it only goes so far, guys. Um, this starts with you. It starts with you getting pissed off, owning this problem, and stepping up and pulling your weight. You know, um, you need to lead on this. We need leaders. We don't need weight watch and worry people. We don't need people trolling our group saying, oh, it'll never happen. It'll never happen. That's bullshit. We don't need that. We don't need any of those kind of people on our group. We need people to own this problem and help disseminate the very important information that we are putting out there. Let me tell you, if we can get probably even one, but certainly if we can get two or three Republican governors like Brian Kemp or Ron DeSantis or uh, Mike Parson or Greg Abbott in Texas or uh, Christy Neem in South Dakota... John Sununu uh, Jr. in uh, New Hampshire. If we can get any of those people to stand up and say, President Biden, enough. I will not let my state be wrecked by this federal debt. Cancel these loans. If we can get literally even one governor to do that, Republican governor, I think it'll probably happen. If we can get three, I think it's pretty much a done deal. And believe me, once three say it, then 15 are going to say it, then 18, then 20. And then all the governors pretty much are going to be saying, President Biden, cancel these loans. So let that start with you. Let you be that person that makes that great phone call or sends that well-written email or throws up a, a highly impactful meme or I don't know. Figure it out. Be smart. Be creative. Be clever. I don't have all the avenues for success here. Um, you all out there are probably smarter than me in a lot of ways. And you can think of stuff, right? You don't need to be taking direction from us. You can think for yourself. And you can come up with some very creative and clever ways to reach those governors. So make that happen. A lot is riding on it. 
And for a tiny, tiny amount of effort, this could be the Niagara Falls of uh, the political sea change in this country. Um, well, yeah, it would be a political sea change, actually. That's not why we're doing it, though. We don't care about politics. We're caring about getting these loans gone. So it would be not only a political sea change, it would be a cultural, economic, it would be a big thing. And you could make that happen by being the one person who gets that first Republican governor to stand up, do and say the right thing, fight for us, the people, 55% of whom are Republican or independent, <laughs> or uh, instead of fighting for this big government college enriching monstrosity that no true conservative could get behind. So, all right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there at that. Um, you are so important. I'm telling you. And if you do nothing, nothing happens. That's kind of the way this works. And I hope you can appreciate that fact. Uh, maybe last thing I'll say is please donate if you can. We need to raise around uh, 100 and I think 40 bucks in the next like three days, I want to say. So go to the website and help with that if you can. We survive only and totally from donations from normal people. We don't do deals with bad guys, any of that crap. We are fighting only and absolutely for the people. So um, please help if you can. And with that, I'm going to wish everybody a great Saturday or a great Sunday. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. I hope you're ready to hit it very, very hard this coming week. Like, hard, hard. So, um, but I'm stoked. I'm, I'm thrilled. Um, oh, okay. No, this is the last thing I'm going to say. Get three people to sign that petition. If you know five people with student loans, four of them are screwed. And if they knew about the petition, they would sign the petition. So make it your mission to get at least three people to sign the petition this week. So with that, I'm going to wish everybody a um, great week. Good luck. Uh, Godspeed. God bless everybody.